Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Topps Archives Baseball. 10 boxes, pick your team, number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. we got Nick Jaspi helping us out on the Nick Cam right above my head. There's everyone right there. Thanks for getting in. If we find, these guys don't have hits, but if we find any numbered cards of them, we'll randomize them as one lot in this break. Big thanks to Jared for grabbing the last spot, last spot mojo. And there's everyone else. Obviously, Nationals always get Expo stuff. But we highlighted that because there's a lot of Expos in this set. Uh, this is our last case, ladies and gentlemen, for the time being. You may see some more in the future, but for now, this is it. But that's good because we've got a big Tops pre-order for tonight. Big new release tomorrow. Five-star baseball. Yeah, Daniel, we always we always end up getting black gold, so keep 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 an eye on the website. Obviously, that's usually one where there's not a ton of releases. Yeah, on weeks where there's not a lot of releases, that's when you'll usually see us dip back into that black gold. Stuff like that. But we've got a pretty busy few weeks coming up, so. Very busy. But yeah, um, we all, we always like bringing that stuff back, so keep an eye on the website. Well, ton of opening week football stuff. Is Arthur ready for Spectre football? He's been, he said he's been saving. He's that's why he's that's why he's like I've not been around because I didn't want I don't want to get into spend the spectrum money. Yeah, just dip into his spectrum money. So yeah, I think he's ready. He's been checking in, doing a little breaks, but he's like, I gotta stay away. <laughs> All right, good luck, everybody. So this will take half the time that it usually does. So we'll be done with this break before you know it. And we'll be double checking for all variations and whatnot too. Yesterday, Jason pulled the Vlad variation and right behind it was the regular one. So it's easy to the spot. That, they should, they usually, should, <laughs> I wish they would do that all the time. I know. They're usually like one per case. The first one, the first case we found a Chris Bryant one. So whoever had the Cubs in number one. Ooh, I had the Hawaii Hawaii upset I had. What? Oh. Week zero of college football. Week zero. I had Hawaii. I also had Miami. They almost almost pulled the upset. But Hawaii was ten and a half point underdogs. Had a little money line. Nice. Was nice. Oh, you had money line too. Little money line, yeah. That's that's a pretty good value there if you think they're gonna win. Last year they were eighteen point favorites. First week. Is it in Hawaii? In, in Hawaii, which I always think is hard to travel to. That's got to be tough, right? Your first and game of the always season. always huge underdogs. I'm like, well, I'll just take Hawaii and see how, see how it goes. All right, box number one. Pick your team three. Good luck, everybody. Nothing else sold out after this, but we want to maybe work on that treasury. Did I just see an ant? like a giant on the camera. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it like been. this huge thing just like Alright, there, there was a little ant. Why is there an ant there? Alright. I think it's just a summer. Good luck everybody. These are all facsimile autographs. I think one of the variations is when they don't have the facsimile autograph on there. This is the uh, this will be whatever this one's autograph, that's the one per case. It's a different border right there. That's the 99. There's no magazine on in our case yesterday, though. Just kind of Ooh. Stunk. There's a Dr. James Andrews auto, which is cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if that takes it place. I wonder why they don't have more of him. He's saved the. He's, he's going to do this guy's surgery again. 
Shohei Otani. Is that a 75, 175? Josh Bell for the Pirates. That's going to go to Nick B. The Will Myers went to Jeff Goldberg and the Friars. Juan Soto's been crushing the ball lately. Let's save one of these Pete Alonzo's too. Those Guerrero Juniors. And our first autograph is Kelly Gruber. I remember Kelly Gruber? Blue Jays? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was an angel for a little bit, too. There he is. World Series winner. World Series winning Kelly Gruber. What's his name? Joe Carter? Walk off? Walked it off. Off of... I don't know who he walked it off of. A Philly, I think. Mitch Williams, that the wild world thing. Series walk off, right? Negative. Like to win the World Series? Um. Or was that not? There was one more was guy. There was Bill Mazeroski did it for the Pirates in the seventies, and he's the only guy to do it in Game Seven. What about Kirk Gibson, was that a walk off? That was a walk off, but that was not to. That was just to win a game, not a series. Not a series guy. That was like Game One or Two. That was Game One actually. That one you always think is to win the World Series. Cause yeah, all the highlights make it seem like, yeah. oh. But people say that it probably did. It really just changed the momentum for the Dodgers. They were such underdogs. Yeah. Is that an autograph? Yeah, it is. 49 out of 50, old Jeff Reardon was a closer. There you go. That obviously goes to the Nationals. Yeah, we were saying yesterday so Josh the players Prince. got their start with the Expos. Yeah, Pedro so Jack Martinez. Said the Expos were basically like the league's minor league team. Right, and then yeah, and then they just steal. Bartolo Colon. That's right. Not about Bartolo Colon. Randy Johnson. I don't know if he started. I think he did actually for like a year. Cause they have cards with him. Yeah, Daniel, I agree. Postseason baseball is going to be really exciting this year, I think. It's going to be really competitive. I mean, it's like the wild card race is so wild that, that we we might not even know who's going to be in the postseason until like the last week of the season. Should I save these for you for variations? Mm, yeah, sure. All right. So Actually, we usually look through. Yeah. All right. We'll just place them over there. I don't, but I don't specify though. I don't if ask. If the place is in Hermosa, you probably don't get it. Interesting. Hermosa plastic is illegal. Plastic bags, plastic straws. Just can't do it. I think the same in Santa Monica too, but some places will go rogue and still do it. I just think it's funny. I mean, it's just kind of crazy. I wonder if you can just stand out front and just be like, hey, here's a straw for a dollar. <laughs> I mean, I get a help, but... It's Jeff Reardon. Another Jeff Reardon for Josh Pru, starting his Jeff Reardon Expos PC. It's like, yeah, maybe figure out, like, the homeless thing first. Yeah, I feel like... Work, work our way to the climate change. Yeah. I, I agree with that. And, like, the trash on the streets and stuff. Yeah. Let's, let's worry about... Let's worry about getting... Homeless people in some decent housing, make them feel like people. Yeah. Get them off the streets. Then we can worry about straws. Banning plastic. Yeah. That's like the big gulp thing in New York City when 
Mayor Bloomberg did that. He banned oh, yeah. big gulps, and then everyone was really upset. Like, mm. I feel like probably shouldn't be drinking that, but I don't know if the government should be like, oh yeah, you can't at all. <laughs> yeah, I get I get what they're trying to do, but feel like we should have probably started doing it. If you were, if you were going to do that, you should have just knocked it all out 20 years ago, yeah. 40 years ago, and <laughs> just be like, yeah, it feels like it's too little too late. Yeah. I'm doing pretty good, George. <clears throat> yeah, people get their five star early and then break it, which is illegal. Not supposed to do. Oh, Ryan, you're seeing some what? five star on eBay already? Happen. Yeah. Oh, there's the case hit. That's nice. Out already in what, box two or something like box that. Box two, I think. That's Noah Syndergaard. Autograph, the Topps Magazine auto is the one for case. That's for Richard Z and the Metropolitans. Nice. Should be a number. Yeah, there it is. 136 out of 150. Those are clean. Those are real nice, yeah. I like how they just do it. They don't make like the white for where their autograph goes, it's just a solid yeah. color card and then they Yeah, like it's, like it's an actual card. magazine cover yeah. and they're just like, oh yeah, make them sign. That mini, early win mini will go to the Indians, Jared Patterson. Yeah, though, I, I, what, what, does Topps actually punish those, those guys? I think they try, it's really hard to track. I to track, yeah. Unless like the person on eBay says, yep, I got it from that or, local card shop. Like, and, or it's like Joe's card shop is selling it <laughs> on right. his eBay page where it clearly says, you know, his shop and whatnot. And I think, yeah, they cut them off usually. Yeah, usually they'll, they'll punish you with that out like lit lesser allocation. Year suspension or something. They used to get really upset about the midnight breaking. Like they used to send emails and stuff. I don't know if they're as strict about it now. <laughs> and it's like, uh, just let them open it, I guess. Yeah, it's like... Yeah. I feel like the, the distributor should just not send it early. Yeah, but then, like like us, you know, UPS didn't come until 3 p.m., so... Uh, what if you're so breaking like, so early, shops, or what if you're, like, selling boxes, you know, your shop opens. Shop opens at 10 a.m., and it's not... I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to follow. Just, yeah, you don't sell it until... It's yeah, out. come on. Don't ruin it for everybody. There's Harrison Bader... Kind of a navy blue border to 175. Well, that's like shops who sell like the National Baseball Card Day free packs. Like they get oh, them that's the worst. Like that kind of stuff. That I I, I I don't mind like the the opening early. If, like if that's we wouldn't do it because what's the fun in that? You know, new release dates should be special. But yeah, right? selling free. That's fine. I mean, whatever. If a sh if a shop wants to do that, I don't, I'm no big deal to me. No skin off my back. There's Jody Davis for the Cubs. But don't sell those free packs. That's like, especially for like National Baseball Card Day. Yeah. Like, what are they selling it for? Like five bucks a pack or something? That's stupid. Uh, probably not even that. TJ with the Cubbies, by the way. Oh, well, he'll he'll catch up to this part of the video. He's saying that he's got home. He's rewinded. He's gonna start from the beginning of the break. He'll catch up to this moment right here at four on the dot. Four on the dot, LA time. I can't believe it's almost September. Uh, that's, yeah, that's the crazy thing. It's almost September. So crazy. Well, off season, it sure did go by fast. It really did. I, was, I blinked and I was like, oh, here we are. Yeah. Because I guess it's just like you have the draft, everyone talks about that. Then you have free agents, everyone talks about that. Then you have you know training camp, hard knocks, and then preseason. And then it's yeah, done. we're already like this week's like preseason week four, right? Yeah, it's the last. It's month. crazy. And no starters play, so it's two, really. Tuki Toussaint for the Braves, Austin Caruso. We're only what nine days from the Bears Packers opening night. That's crazy. Will Myers to 25. It's a different border the there. For the Padres. No, are they not good? They're doing like the 100th anniversary uniforms. So but are like, they the uniforms like they wore 100 years ago? Basically. Wow. And they, but they try to do it like Nike style, so oh. it just looks weird. Why not just do it, just just go full old school The then. Bears ones are all right. Packers are. 
I don't, yeah. And then Patriots fans are all mad because it's usually the Super Bowl team that ho gets to host the first game. Mm -hmm. They've hosted enough first games. <laughs> because people think Roger Goodell doesn't want to go to New England. Fox for him to get booed. I don't like, think he's going to get booed anywhere. He gets booed anywhere, yeah. He doesn't care. What's his salary? He's getting like tens of millions of dollars a year. He doesn't care. That's like Andrew Luck. I'm like, mm, I don't feel too bad for him. No, I don't. I don't. If he wants to, he doesn't And I don't like fans who are probably pretty drunk at the third preseason game who probably all have season tickets. Right. I'd be pissed too. Yeah, I would be too. And it's like, like, come on, man. And like, once you get, you get swept up in the boo, you know? It's like oh, the yeah. first guy who boos it is probably a jerk. But then everyone who follows, it's like. Right, it's like, come on. But like, the whole media is freaking out. Like, oh, he's such a hero for retirement. Not a hero. He just, uh, I'd rather have him quit if he doesn't feel it. Yeah. If he's not feeling it, if he doesn't love it, there's Tim Burke. Another Expos autograph for Josh. Kind of hard to see on that dark uniform there, but it's there. But yeah, if he's not feeling it, quit. Like, yeah. you made your money. He's got a lot of money. Colts are letting him keep everything, too. Yeah, so. the XFL thing is funny. <laughs> Yeah, his dad runs the XFL, folks. I, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, he's a commissioner. That's the there. first thing I thought of. I was like, oh, man, is he really going to go to the XFL? Moxie's going to show up at the XFL. I don't think he's capable. It would have to be like, he'd have to be a WWE heel to do that. He might be if dad's like, hey, you're not doing anything right now. But I mean, for 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 him to be like a hero, that doesn't make sense. To me. Well, it's just like yeah, that he was brave, brave enough like, to retire, yeah, and, and not just his health and not just take the money, but his paycheck, or whatever. even though he's still getting paid this year, and they let him keep the money. Hmm. It's just two weeks before the season starts. It's kind of that's kind of crazy. I, maybe it was Jim Irsay who told him not to say until now. But. Well, I was listening to the Bill Simmons podcast, and he was wondering, hey, maybe who's the Patriots the Colts to OC? Maybe. Uh, uh, Frank Wright? That no, 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 not the Colts. Uh, uh, Patriots offensive coordinator. Oh, Josh McDaniels, McDaniels. Yeah, yeah. who interviewed for a job. <laughs> Bill Simmons is saying, I wonder if he went back on the job because he's heard something from Andrew Love, Love yeah. that made him think, oh, his heart's really just not in it. Maybe yeah. he's going to quit in a couple of years. I don't want to be in a situation like that. Maybe that's why he bailed out. Yeah, it's just luck and awesome year, but yeah. Out of 175, Jake Bowers, Indians. He's comeback play of the year. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Josh Bruce, what's going on? Oh, he needs Pedro's Expos. We oh, usually Pedro and Vlad for the auto set. Okay. Right, well, we'll still have a lot of boxes to go. It's possible. We saw the case hit, but there's usually some other big autos in here. It could be it. But isn't it crazy that they went from nine and a half wins to six and a half wins? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, nice for the Cubbies. Pat Hughes. I think we've had him in every case. TJ with the broadcaster. I think Rex was looking for him. There he is. Maybe we had another broadcaster. No, there was another guy I think he was looking for. No, we hit that in the first game. I forget, Jason. There's Rondell White. Expo. A lot of Expos autos in this one. Yeah, a lot of people have been saying that the Expos are loaded in this. Bill Simmons was also like, oh man, he can't wait to see every pundit have something to say about Andrew Luck. They want to say something like poignant about like his retirement and everything. Yeah. I, I, pretty much I've all seen is just praise. It's just like getting sick of it. Like the fans are the worst people in the world. And the, yeah. The, the, it's just an athlete centered world right now. Which I think is funny. It's like, yeah, athletes. You know, it's that quote, fans stay forever, athletes come and go. Yeah, they come and fans go. Fans stay forever. So 
idea from a diehard Colts fan, I'd be pretty pissed. I would too. Like maybe in February where he's like, yeah, you know, it's, my health isn't, isn't good. I'm, I'm hanging it up. But he didn't even make it about his health. He made it about like his mental state. He like he wants well, to if travel. If his he heart's not to, in he it, he wants to travel and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, there's just like different different animals. Just do it six months ago. You know, like. Tom Brady, you know, is, is the kind of animal that says, I'm putting all that on hold. I'm going to play and football until I'm 50, you know? Tom Brady outlasts him. Andrew Luck, right? He's wild. And RG3 did, too. RG3 selling the league. Which is funny. There's A-Rod 99. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have random pack breaks. Um, probably not pack. Might have a random team type break. There's, gosh, another X. That's, is that old Maury Wills? Look at that. I didn't know he was an Expo. I didn't know he was an Expo. Dodger. Oh, Dodger. Nice one, Josh Bruce. When was he on? When was the there? Yeah, he was a uh, speedy guy, big stolen base guy. 586 career stolen bases. Played one year with the Expos in 1969, then went back to the Dodgers to close out his career. It started with the Dodgers. Back in 1959, Vince Scully would used to say that on a quiet day in the 60s, you can hear uh, you can hear the crowd chant like "Go Mori Go" or something like that when he was whenever he's on first because they everyone knew once he gets on first he's going to steal. Yeah, that kind of speed. Mike Tower, what's up? Yes, the cost of the Pelicans were ten dollars. <laughs> you tell every breaker that <laughs> it sold for ten. That Jaspi sold for ten bucks. Why are you guys selling it for a thousand dollars? Fifteen dollars for the Pelicans. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and like the the Washington Wizards were thirteen hundred dollars. Oh, Wizards are a lot. Wizards are three hundred something. Wait, they are a lot, right? They actually had like some yeah. draft picks. I'm trying to Maybe think. Maybe like of, uh, I'm trying to think of like yeah, <laughs> like if we only sold the Pelicans for like ten bucks, right? Like it would be like Raptors for fifteen hundred dollars. There's Dodger Steve Sachs. So you had old Maury Wills, old Dodger in his Expos gear, but you've got Steve Sachs in his Dodgers gear. A Dodger for a long time. Came up with that 800, that uh, that 81 team there. Won a World Series there against the Yankees. Won a World Series with the Dodgers in 88. And went to the Yankees for a few seasons. That goes to Boombox and my Dodgers. Rex, only 39 bucks. <laughs> Rex, what's going on? Yep. I'm the new breaker here. My name is Joe for Jaspi's Case. My muscle com. memory, it takes me a second to be like, oh, I just made him a huge mistake. That I only priced the Maverick for 39.99. <laughs> Feels weird, right? Yeah. I'm supposed to add like another nine for the end of that. Yeah. But... I don't know, 1920. That, that's a that's a pretty good price for the Mavs, though. Once the regular products are coming out, because you you still yeah, have I mean, Doncic, second year Doncic, and first year Porzingis in his Dallas Mavericks gear. Could have autos and then Dirk autos. Yep, and well. then Dirk autos are still going to be there. So, whatever the price of the Mavs are going to be, probably a little bit more than 40 bucks. Although it's collegiate, so I don't know if they include those international guys or not. Maybe. Oh, not in collegiate, but I mean like when the season goes when on. The season goes, yeah. yeah. $3.99. No, what usually happens is someone buys them for $39.99 right. thinking there's Luka Doncic and then they're like, oh no, I, f I forgot it's a new year of basketball. Yeah, can I get a refund? Although basketball, I forget that a little easier because they still release 1819 products. In While 1920 is happening, so yeah, I don't, I don't like that. There's always like that overlap that. Flawless is coming out in like October. That gets really, that's really confusing. 
18, 19 flawless basketball. He did, Rex. He authorized that, actually. He agreed with it. He's like, I would have done the same thing. You can write that formal complaint to jazbeescasebreaks at gmail.com. That's like when I banned uh, Todd Reardon by accident. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened, the, uh, the accidental ban. Robert Rohr, you need a Ichiro Marlins autograph. All right. Yeah, if you're banned, you usually stay on there for life. So I would, I would count your blessing with Rex. There's people who are banned who come back and say, "Oh, what did I get banned for?" We don't know, but you're on the ban list for yeah, a reason. Yeah, has so, to be a reason. <laughs> like we don't just, we don't just ban people for, for nothing. Although sometimes I guess <laughs> they ask too many questions. <laughs> <laughs> just like yeah, this. This guy's enough. Nick Castellanos to 99. That's, that's the guy Robert's looking for, just with his ink on it. But yeah, baseball. I'm pretty What's excited up, Jason? for Bowman Chrome. Hey, Jason. 2019 Bowman Chrome. On um, 9-11 comes out. Bowman Chrome should be a lot of fun, folks. Especially for all, all of you prospectors out there. We've got another expo. Jeez. Steve Rogers. Captain America. Right, Captain America. That has a green. That has green foil on it. Ah, out of 99. There you go. Nice. That's another one for Josh. A stack of expos going your way. We had the magazine in this one. Oh, you did? Yeah, last night. I don't know what happened. Wait, which was yeah? The notes in the guard. Oh, nice. Maybe we'll have two in this one. Maybe. Expos have a lot of hits. Yeah, it's usually like five or six of autos. It seems like. It's Gary Sanchez. To 175 right up there. That's for the Yankees. That's like the like last year they did Sandlot autos. The year before that they did um, both their own. Was this the year Rex got Will that Will Ferrell? Ferrell? That was three years, 2015 I think. Nice rookie auto, Carter Keboom. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Another one for Josh Cruz. I was like, oh, someone different gets this. No, it's still Josh Cruz. There yeah, you go, man. Yeah, it was Will Ferrell, and then it was Bull Durham, and then Sandlot. I don't know what was in between. Another baseball movie. Oh, uh, maybe Field, Did they do Field of Dreams one year? They didn't do Field of Dreams. They did Kevin Costner, Bull Durham, which TJ right, right, reminded right. us. I forgot they did that. And then they did Major League with Charlie Sheen. That one, that year, I remember. That was really popular. Will Ferrell was most popular, and then... Last year was Sandlot, but they didn't have like the main guy because he's like a criminal. Mm -hmm. So that kind of beat sucked. someone to death. Benny the Jet. Half to death. Yeah. They didn't have his autos. <laughs> no. Is he in prison? I think so. He probably is. At least for a little bit. He didn't beat. He didn't beat him to death. Well, no. The half to death. Out of twenty-five, Jose Urena for the Marlins. I guess that's pretty bad. Hopefully yeah, it's a it's a really that's a, such a one of the weirdest like. Where are they now? Stories like child actors and like child where actors are they? Is so crazy. I don't get. But it. he he was like an EMT. Like he he would like w yeah, get all that fire stuff. Firefighter, yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe a firefighter. And then he saw he thought he saw a guy that was maybe suspected of being a you know child abuser or something like that, and, or child molester. And then him and his buddies like beat him up, and then turns out it was the wrong guy and. A lot, of, a lot of, yeah. The X line with old Mike Sweeney. Um, the worst baseball movie they could do? Probably Basketball. I hate that movie. You don't like that movie? I know movie? a lot of people are a fan of it, so it's, it's like kind a, of a hot take. <laughs> that, is, that is pretty spicy. <laughs> a lot of people like it. That's, I, that's a pretty funny movie. I don't movie. like it. I don't know. I, just, I guess it's not technically baseball. Well, it's baseball. And then people hate on Mr. 3000. I love that one. I love Bernie. Is that that with Bernie Mac? That's yeah. under that Mr. Three Thousand is underrated. It's a great one. 
Mr. 3000, underrated, folks. More Expos. Bill Gullickson this time for Josh Pruce. Thank you, Nick. The worst baseball movie? The one with Amy Adams and the uh, Clint Eastwood. Trouble with the Curve? That wasn't horrible. I mean, it would be like a kids movie. It would but be. Clint Eastwood would sell for a lot. So it would be like it would be like some some silly Air family. Yeah, some Air Bud does baseball or whatever. Whatever that one is. That that might be the worst one. No Orioles yet, Daniel. That'd be pretty good. John Goodman autos for, for him as the babe. They should do, you know who has a big cast, a big kind of all-star cast, is um, out of 175 Christmas Story. They should do Eight Men Out. That had like Charlie Sheen and John Cusack and a number of other people that are I'm blanking on but are pretty familiar faces. Th that's a good, they should do a, a League of Their Own one. They can get, um, Gina Davis was in wasn't there. Madonna autographs on a baseball card would be pretty cool. Um, Rosie O'Donnell would be pretty interesting. On, so, so Tom Hanks, obviously. Tom Hanks, Gina Davis, and like Madonna. Those would be like the three pretty hot autos for, um, for a league of their own. Archives League of Their Own. Yeah, John Lovitz, right, is in League of Their Own. That's a great, that's one of my favorite baseball movies. It's just stamped, right? That Expos? I thought it was, thought it was autographed for a second. All right, we got three boxes to go right here. Almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Out of ninety-nine, I'll do a I'll do a recap for you, EA. But I'm, I don't think I'm going to do a recap video since we had some pack sacking help from Nick. Fred Stanley, Yankees. Lee. Lee Cheesman with the Yankees. How's that 8x10 going, folks? That treasury is full. 8x10 still holding at 14? Come on. Should I, should I just do the break over again, Rex? Yeah, there are a lot of Expos. No Orioles yet. I think Daniel was asking a little bit earlier. Which year is my favorite Topps baseball design? I'm not sure. Once I have my Topps baseball design poster up somewhere in my, my studio, I'll be able to examine that more on a daily basis and figure that out. Oh, I almost missed that one. Look at that, Tim Wallach. Kind of a silver or gold ink autograph right there. I don't know if you use the right pen, but there it is. Old Tim Wallach for Josh Pruce. We've got an Ichiro that looks like it's numbered out of 99 for the M's. And TJ is back live. Excellent, TJ. You had a couple Cubs there. I 
I thought they did do a Field of Dreams autograph set in one of these top spots, but I guess I was thinking of Bull Durham, another just different Costner movie. No, it's it's extraordinarily Expos heavy, <laughs> Mike Tower. There's usually are a lot of Expos, but I feel like there's a lot more than usual this time. All right, two boxes to go. What did I, did I put anything on the Cubs-Mets game tonight? No, I did not. All right, two more to go. I think Dodge only got one hit. Expo's definitely killing it though. Well, next time you see archives on jazbeescasebreaks.com, get the get that Nationals Expo spot ASAP. There's Fred Stanley, another Fred Stanley for Lee and the Yankees. This one's numbered to 150 on this one. There's like at least like expo autographs. There's more this, I feel like there's more in this one. <laughs> there's Lorenzo Cain Mini. I wasn't, a f I don't know if I was the f a huge fan of, the rookie was okay. I, I wouldn't put it in my top. One of my top baseball movies, though. Brand Nemo to twenty five. Angels in the Outfield, Cody, is a classic. You still catch some people in the stands on Angels games doing that every once in a while. There's Mike Lieberthal for the Phillies. That goes to Matt Appleby. That's a classic. Let's get that into next year's archives. go George <laughs> uh, Robert be sure you, you should uh, email our team about that Jaspies case breaks at gmail.com so our team knows I am not familiar with uh, banging the drum slowly. There's Carl Yastrzemski, gold foil. Is that a baseball movie?
There's Jack McKeon. Remember, remember old Jack McKeon? Is Jack McKeon still with us? He must be. He signed this card. What's he doing? Wasn't he a manager for the Pirates or Padres? He won a World Series with the Marlins, too. That's right. Two-time manager of the year and a World Series champion in 2003. He is still with us, folks. 88 years old. Old Trader Jack. What's he, what's he doing now? Baseball Hall of Irish American Baseball Hall of Fame in 2015. 2017 elected into the Hall of Fame. Lives in uh, Elon, North Carolina right now. There you go. That goes to Robert Rohr and the Marlins. That doesn't sound like a huge deal, Daniel. Daniel's saying, it's okay to eat salmon with potatoes. Am I the only one here? Sure. You can pair, you can pair a potato with any kind of meat. If you want to, if that suits your palate. I liked Pride of the Yankees. That's, that's a nice old school baseball movie. I was a fan of that. Yeah, why is he, this reporter, he's oh, he's getting hit by a sprinkler. Oh, and he's still going. No, that, that's, that's where the shot's going to be. <laughs> and there's Jeff Idelson, National Baseball Hall of Fame. No team attached here, so this is going to be a randomizer to one person in this break. There you go, that's out of 99. RT says, hey Joe, I'm lucky to have traded my Andrew Luck auto for Eric Dixon Kerr two months ago. No, aren't Luck autos going to go up? Actually went down, unfortunately. I mean, eventually they'll go up. Yeah, because he's just not going to be signing anymore. Edwin Diaz to 175. Mike Tower saying that I would like a Mighty Casey episode of the Twilight Zone where Robot joins a baseball team. Yeah, what's the, what's the story with that, folks? At some point, as medical technology continues to improve exponentially over the next... 10, 15, 20 years. What if your arm can be replaced by a robotic arm just because that technology is there now and, and, a, and a man or a woman can throw a ball and pitch with that robotic arm? Are you allowed to be in baseball? Do they allow cyborgs in baseball? That's a very important question, ladies and gentlemen. Very important question. How much of a cyborg can you be? A quarter cyborg? 50% cyborg? Is, is, there, is there like cyborg discrimination going to be a thing? Who knows, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a quick look at some of the, the hits that we got in this break. A lot of expos, a lot of cool parallels, nice Carter key boom. Some minis. There's the case hit that popped early. The Noah Syndergaard Tops Magazine card. And there you go, boys and girls. Let's randomize this to someone in the break. Let's get everyone's names here. Oh. That's 
too ambitious there. I, I got, just need those 30 names right here. Let's take out the non-hit spots. Let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a four, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and four. eight the hard way. Eighth and final time. Name on top. Richard Zitterman. You get the uh, Jeff Idelson autograph right here from the National Baseball Hall of Fame. And there you have it, boys and girls. Pick your team three of Archives Baseball in the books. We'll see you next time for the next one, jazbeescasebreaks.com.